Welcome to Coding Solutions. Today in Java, I will teach you how to write a simple odd event program. Uh, we'll take a number from user and we'll try to find out whether that number is odd or else even. Okay, first of all, uh, if you do not know how to install uh, Eclipse, you can refer to my video here, which will appear here. Or else, it will the video will completely deal with downloading and installing Eclipse. Eclipse is a software which helps you uh, practice Java programs. Okay, that's it. And if you have not watched my earlier videos about how to uh, create projects and how to do, add two numbers, etc., you can click here. The video link will be here. Please watch those videos so that you will be clearly understanding whatever I am about to teach you. Okay. If you have watched those videos, please let's move on. Okay. Now I'll just see. This is a project which I have earlier created, as you, you would have noticed while watching the other videos. Now I'll just click on, this is the initial state, I'll open my clips, I'll go to source, right click, okay, new, class, odd, even, okay, actually I also, there will be one simple method, so I will use public static void main, so I, don't, so I do not need to type it out, okay, just I click on finish, we have a class, that's it. Okay, just let's shift this up stairs. Yes, yeah, I think so. That's an umlaut. Okay, don't worry. Uh, it does not matter. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, it's recording. I was just checking it out whether it's recording or not. Okay. Now, for checking an odd event, we need a. We'll pick the number from user. First of all, for that I will import scanner class import java dot util dot start. I will import entire class. I can just import for start. I can use the scanner dot just here. I can type it out. Uh, scanner with s capital. Okay. Now I will create object of scanner class. Scanner is equal to new. Sorry, I'm just typing it out then. Keypad and it's where we got. We have created the object here. You can uh, use any name; it does not matter. Okay. Now I will ask the user to enter. I will teach you a shortcut here. How to? Uh, you just type this out and press Control and Space together, so that you do not need to basically type System dot out dot print and each and every time. I will enter. Okay. Okay. We will enter. Enter a number. Enter a number to be checked. We'll move on. Now we'll declare integer n equals to. We have declared int n number. Let's write it as num is equals to. We are taking user input, so we'll call it using uh, object which we have declared sc. And this is an integer, so we will use sc dot next int. So I type it out so that you can see the syntax. Next uh, is small int, small letters, capital I and T. And this is the parent brackets close and open that's it you will be able to take uh, input from console now we need to check this out whether a number is order even number is considered to be order even if it is divisible by two if the number is not divisible by two it is considered to be even uh, we are not taking zero we are not considering zero we'll, we'll put this condition only if the number is greater than zero uh, this thing will be checked if, if statement is here just to check we can check one to infinity words i will it will not move to infinity in integer has the limitations it is two to the power eight so now i will check if if conditions here checks if number mod mod is basically trying to find the remainder mod uh, operation is done to find the remainder itself see if you have any doubt please feel free to write in comments i will come back to you like if there is a number four if I divide it by two what will the remainder be now mod means it will find out the remainder if the remainder is zero it will be considered as even as four now if I divide it with five now if the number is five and I divide it with two remainder will be one so it is it will not be equals to zero this means if the now here just focus here if the number mod two equals to equals to zero it compares the this output with this if it is same, the condition inside this parenthesis will be executed. Now I will 
even. Else, we'll just print it out as odd. We do not, we do not need to consider other cases because basically, see, if you are writing one statement, you can avoid parenthesis. This is a bonus tip. Please remember, if you are writing uh, one statement, you can avoid the parenthesis here. I will just write odd. That's it. It's been understood. Now, I'll just put an else condition. Okay. Enter integer greater than zero. Zero. That's it. We are done. Uh, we'll close the object here which we had open. It's a good programming practice. You must always follow. Sc dot close. That's it. You can see no lines here. You just come here. Run as Java application. Enter a number to be checked. Let's type it as zero first. <laughs> Try to check it as zero. Okay, now we will run this again. Okay, let's write five, six, something. Even. Okay, we'll try the one more number. One, two, three. It's an odd. That's it. Uh, I like if you have any doubt regarding any of the variables, any of the methods, or any of condition loops which I've used. Please feel free to reach me through the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And it would be a lot helpful for me if you could like, share, subscribe my channel. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day.